Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another movie review, oh, another anime movie review for Anime Month. Um, now, I will, I will say this, I wanted to say, I wanted to still apologize for this one, because this movie, which I heard of the series, but I've never watched the first season. I know there's a second season coming, but, or it's already, I don't remember though, but I know there was a first season, <clears throat> But I've never seen it though, so I watched this movie first because I know the. But this this movie takes place after the first season, so. But um, shortly after I saw this movie, then I went ahead and got the the, the first season. So, I so um um I'm not uh I haven't fully I haven't watched it I haven't watched the series yet though, because. I want to know. What, I want to be sure we know what I'm talking about. So about why I get to the full season, but I do have to learn a little bit about the characters when I saw the when I saw the movie though. Like I, I saw learned a little bit, and then after the movie, I I uh, saw af to learn more about afterwards. But uh, for but um for uh, for my for this review and review, ugh, I'll be reviewing the anime movie that came out. Well, it came out and it came out last year, but. It was released in the U.S. until like uh, earlier the uh, earlier this year to you know to make money here in the U.S. So technically, I'll, I'll, since it came out last year already, I'll put it as, as a 2020 movie though. Um, so I'll be reviewing of the anime movie Demon Slayer: The Mugen Train. Yeah, so Demon Slayer: The Mugen Train, and which already is the high it's it is made a ton of money surprisingly. It's already it's already the highest grossing anime movie of all time. Um, it far surpassed Spirited Away and Your Name. Way far surpassed worldwide. It's made over four hundred forty seven million worldwide. So it already it already surpassed far surpassed those two movies because at the time those were the highest grossing anime movies. But this movie far surpassed it. Like I said, so I'm I saw I saw this I saw this movie blind because I don't know anything about. Demon Slayer, the series. So, but after I saw the movie, then I went ahead and went uh, to get. To, I went ahead and went to get the, the 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 first season. So, so I do apologize. I do apologize if I don't know anything about uh, the characters here. So, but, well, I did. Why I watched it, I did learn a little bit about the character, especially the main character Tanjiro. So, so I, I so I apologize for that though. But I will. But I will be able to watch it fully afterwards though. So I won't be able to review the series. This is my, my whole thing my, by last year, but next year hopefully, we'll see though. Probably it's a possibility, but it's up in the air though. But De but Demon Slayer: The Mugen Train definitely got high, a lot of high praise. Like I said it became the highest grossing anime movie of all time. Um, first of all, the animation is really wonderful. Um, it's really it really well animated. Um, I, when I saw this in the theater, it was the Japan. It was Japanese dub with the subtitles, though. So, so the Japan. So I don't know much about the the, the English voice cast. Voice cast. So, but the Japanese voice, the voice dubbing, what did they did a really good job. So the voice, the Japanese voice uh, dub, and the animation was well done. Um, the score, um, I thought it was decent. The score, uh, I don't know the score, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know who the, the people put up, but the score was decent as well. Um, now, as for the story goes, like I said, it takes place after the first season. We have we have a four we have a four main well a four main characters. We have Tanjiro, we have a uh, uh, Zenitsu and uh, Inu Inusaki or Inusaki or mispronounce the name. And we have a uh, and Tanjiro is a sister uh, uh, Nizuko. Nuzuko. Now, why learn? Why learn? Because because of the dream because of the dream sequence that happens in this movie, learn me help me learn about uh, about Tanjiro's family. That he was he his family sold charcoal. So just really quick about the character on Tanjiro. He his his family sold charcoal, right? And to one day, his his sisters, his brothers, and his mother were killed by a demon. Except his uh, his older sister, Nuzuko. Now, Sally Nuzuko, his sister, she was the only surviving of her the only survivor of her fa of his family, but Sally she's been turned into a demon. 
so that, so that's why you see she has like some claws her eyes are a little bit different color and she wears this this bite this bite guard you know to keep to keep her from biting people so that's why if you're wondering why she has that mouth guard is to keep her from biting people so I guess that's why like in the series I guess that's what she attempted to do that's why they, she put the, they have that bite guard bite guard on her so his sister is the only one is the only survival of his of his family before being killed by the demon. So she got turned into a demon afterwards, and I get and since demons, now I was about this. Like I said, I don't anything about the series though. But demons, I guess they're like I guess they're like vampires. They're afraid of sunlight. So uh, because I guess because the there's one demon at the end of the movie where who was fighting with uh, the fight at the end of the film, he had to run away because the sun was coming up, and the reason and also that. Um, Tanjiro's uh, sister is in a is in a wooden box to to keep her from you know from the sunlight I guess because I guess now I guess a, all, a demons are like vampires they're all afraid of sunlight or else they'll get turned to dust so that's one thing I think why they, they he keeps her in that box from the times in in the sunlight and um, so that's what the one little thing about uh, why he joined the demon slayers to uh, limit the demons to because because what happened to his family. And then Zeninsu, he's just the Blanc, the Blanc, who acts like a little bit of a coward, a little bit of a coward at times. Um, but he, he has taken a liking to uh, Tenjiro's sister years ago. And then you have Inusaki, who wears this, wears this boar head, wears this boar head as a, as a mask. I don't know much about his backstory, I guess he was raised by boars, I guess. Maybe that's why he has a boar head. Like I said, I don't, I don't know much about these characters, so I apologize for that. That's why I'm trying to do the best I can here. So that's one of the, the, gist, the gist of their of the main character of these four main characters. The most I know about is Tanjiro and and Nizuko. So the the um which appears this takes place a little bit in, in the early 1900s, I would say. I was looking up. It was a, it would take place in some kind of a period piece, like at least in like 1912 or 19 or. It was like in the early 1900s, like 1912 or 11 or around there, because you have you have you have operating trains and like even conductors, you know, doing the punching, punching of the tickets, right? So that take place like during around that around that time in the early 1900s, from what the time it was made. Oh, it was set in. So they were um. They were uh, a store go they were go on board to uh, find this this one uh, Stephen Slayer by this name of uh, Rengu Rengoku Rengoku and one thing leads one thing leads to another as they're on board the train there's this demon who and these four ki these four kids um, I guess they're, 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 I guess they're, they're, like, like, sleep deprived or they have insomnia or something because if they, if, if they do this thing for this, this demon to, is to put all four, four, four of our characters into this, well, except for, except for, um, Zutnuzuku who's inside the box, but the other four, other four characters, they, to put them inside their sleep and destroy their, um, what is it, their spiritual cores? I said, "Well, I'm watching. I'm watching this. is in This is in Japanese dub with the subtitles, so I'm going by what they were saying. It was easier if it was an English dub, though. But, but they did. So they destroy their spiritual core. So they get. They go inside their dreams. As, as they fall asleep, they go inside their dreams, and they have to find their spiritual cores and destroy them, so they can never wake up again. And in exchange for that, these four kids will get a peaceful sleep, basically." And by doing so, that the, the one conductor is like you know punching their tickets in order for the spell to work. The I guess the the the, the, this, the conductor was punching their tickets, did something to make them fall asleep. The spell, I guess. And I guess they when they when they do that, the the kids have to tie the ropes to each other to one person from one child to the other person who was to fall asleep. I guess. Um. And yeah, there's, there's one. There's one demon who's in charge. Like he has like this one hand, which were, which reminds me of Miggy. You know, had the a mouth and the eyes. You know, Miggy from Parasite. <laughs> and and so each one goes inside the dream. Like in the one dream with Tendro, he gets the dream where he's with his family who is alive. Which he is, which he surprisingly sees his family alive because he knows what happened to his family. They're all they all die though, but 
he wakes up in the where his place like it's in the snow, and his family is all alive, and you know he wants to act like you know they're one big happy family once again, you know, and um, and his sister is his sister music musico is normal. She's she's back to being nor as a normal human in the dream. And with um. With Rengoku, he has his, his vision with uh, sleep, uh, his his dream is with his with his brother, his younger brother. You know, he was trying to be demon slayer like him. You know, this this special kind of demon slayer was called a uh, a flame Hasura, a flame Hasura, I think. And he he's he starting to do this like for like to please his dad, I guess. But his dad is really not really doesn't really give a damn. Basically, he's like on his like this lying down like this and not, not like. Basically, not a care in the world, so that's why his kind of dad is. And you know, he's, he's talking to, to his little brother, as you know, he won't be as good as him, you know. And I uh, get also a little bits with uh, him talking to his mother, <sighs> and then with the uh, um with Z Z Z Z Zenitsu, um, he has he has a dream. With the being with uh, Nuzigo, with Nuzigo, and and with uh, Inusaki, Inusaki, I remember the master name. Like he's just running, running around this in this cave, and each one is trying to find their their spiritual core. Like with the one that's in Tanjiro's dream, he finds it, but he doesn't want to do it because he finds it because whatever because he's in, it's very peaceful. It's so peaceful and wonderful to him that he doesn't want to ruin. He doesn't want this to be ruined, basically. Well, the well news ago she gets out. Of the, she's out of the box and she wakes everybody up. I which I forget. Did um, did she like? Yeah, she like um, clawed at them to wake them up. I, I forget though, because I saw this film a while ago, like a, from a few weeks ago, and uh, but she eventually she uh she wakes them up, and. The, well, the kids they they, he, they didn't kill they didn't kill the kids they didn't die though they just um were they were they were just let go, and the 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 demon that's behind this the main demon that there the was the the, the t children told him though. Overall, he is they fight him. Tanjiro fights him. They think they they thinking they got him, but eventually, but actually, he's infused his body in with the train itself because like along with the passenger cars like. Say like they're in, so like, take like uh, the final act of Inuyasha, right? Where they're inside Nero, Nero, uh, Naraku's body, right? And all around it, those things that's around him, it's like all him inside. Think of like that though. But when this demon fused fuse himself with the train, the in, the inside and outside is like become part of the guy's body. Is that is that kind of way? You know how many times like how many times you strike the inside of, the, of when they um when they strike inside Naraku's body. Doesn't hurt him because it's all it's all part of him. It's like the same thing when they're trying to trying to strike the guy. Uh, all this flesh stuff it's keeps on coming up because it's still the demon's body. They have to get the head or whatever you know. And at the same time, they have to try to protect the passengers that's on the train. And uh, Tendro lets uh, lets um, his sister go loose. You know, go crazy because despite that she, despite that she's been turned into a demon, she, but at the same time she's also a powerful demon as well. So that's like an advantage right there. Even though she's been turned into a demon, Nuzigo is all but Nuzigo at the same time has been turned into a very powerful demon, right? She can she goes claw claw very fast and etc etc et rate. And uh, in Inusaki has his double bladed edge swords. He could go very fast as well. While uh, in uh, Zen, Zenitsu Zenitsu, oh he's acting like a little bit of a coward. He's like oh. For him, I, I didn't uh, of the of the four of the main characters. I didn't really care for him. He was acting. I know he gets an arc after, uh, like he mans up and finally does something. But he's like, eh. and well, Run get uh, Run Goku. He did, he's like he's a badass. He just going one car to another, swiping across the whole entire train. So he he's a badass. Um, and with Tanjiro, he's fighting with the the main demon and. The duels all over. They have to get the main, uh, the main part of them at the main part of, at the main locomotive, the locomotive, 
like there's a certain part where there's bone. You have to sever that part of the bone, and that's what uh, severs the ties with him in the train to ultimately defeat him. So. Ultimately, ultimately, uh, they, uh, they, when they eventually do get him, like, it was like, it's like his neck area, right? They get him, and then he, and then eventually ki kills him. Because all the ends result, the passenger is safe, but the, the part of the train crashed, the part of the train crashes, though, it derails, but everyone is safe, though. And then, also, uh, would you think, you think that, uh, the, f which I thought the film was done, you know, but then, all of a sudden, out of the blue, like I said, I don't know about, much about the series, though. Like, so this is why this is a part I don't know much about. But to me, it's like, out of the blue, out of nowhere, this one guy pops out of nowhere to uh, fight um, Ring, Ring, Ringoku. It's like, okay. okay. I was like, this is like, out of nowhere, out of the blue. I was like, who is this guy? We don't, I, don't, I don't know who this guy is. I'm sure people who know the series, they know who probably know who this person is, but I haven't seen the series. So, to me... It's like, to me, it was a person who was like out of the blue, out of nowhere, just pops out out of nowhere, just to just randomly fight, right? But this guy, apparently he's from, he's from an upper, he's an upper rank, I guess. He's an upper rank, a higher up demon, what was it called? The Upper Moon 3. So he's an upper rank type of guy for a higher up of demons. But like I said, but I'm sure people know about the character, but to me, he was just a, he was just a random a demon out of the blue, just comes out of nowhere, just to fight. Because oh geez the the it's like oh geez the uh, oh the oh, the whole train got stopped well they gotta keep something that uh, also going that's why I thought you know you know we still got some time because this film was under two, close to two hours so oh the train got stopped okay, okay we still gotta have time to add another a fight actually actually so yeah that's what I thought though like I said I don't know about the characters or any of what's uh what these demons are so. I'm sure when I watch the series, I'll know I'll know a lot better, more about the characters. But to me, I was I saw the movie first before the series, so I so I do apologize about knowing much about these characters or upper ranks or whatever, right? So, but to me, he was just a demon that just comes out of nowhere just to fight. <laughs> but uh, he he fights Ren Goku. He puts up a very good fight, you know. No, but the thing is, I know how many times he cuts it, he cuts this guy's arm or whatever. He pulls himself back together, and he gets like very fast fist fightings. He Ren Goku gets the, gets the crap beat out of him. But um, eventually, even though Ren Goku is very wounded very badly, though he does manage to get like a surprise. Gets gets a surprise on this guy. As as is Akaza, I think it was the guy's name, Akaza or something. He did, gets him pretty good though, but at the end, Rengu, Rengu just uh, he just fairly wounds the guy. So sadly, and Tanjiro, he's Tanjiro, he is highly upset because he he's a guy who, who wanted him to train better. Uh, Rengu, you know, he will he will look him as you know to train him and all that. But that's why he was uh, going on there for the train in the first place for. But um, he, he died like you know, he died like this, sitting sitting up like that. So Tanjiro gets very enraged, and I guess he just runs away because the sun is coming up. So like I said, I guess these demons are just like vampires, right? This, well, they, 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 by the sunlight, they turn to dust. So these demons are just like vampires, basically. They're just afraid of the sunlight. So he goes and runs away into the forest to avoid the sunlight. Not before when Tanjiro uh, throws his sword at him and gets him, though. But they didn't stop him, though. So, um, with uh, with Rengoku's last words, gives him gives him some words of advice, you know, encouraging words, and then dies. And then the rest of, and then all like um like these birds, they spread the word about um. About Rangugu's death, they inform all other Demon Slayers, the Corp, I guess, the Demon Slayer Corp, I guess. Yeah, so they, they spread the word, they, they spread the guy's death, his death, they spread the word around to other Demon Slayers, and then the, 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 I guess there are more upcoming fights, I guess, so. So, so, uh, so Demon Slayer and Mugen Train, I, I enjoyed it. Like I said, even though I went in this knowing nothing about the series, 
the first season of book beforehand. But after this, I will get to know the series better once I watch it, though. But like I said, yeah, because I heard of the series, though, but I just, I just didn't um, know anything about it. So that's why I went and saw the movie Blind, because I knew it takes place after the uh, the first series. That's where there's a second series coming. I think it's out or is it still coming? I don't know, but... Um... But I, I still, regardless, I still enjoy the movie. I still enjoyed it. Now, when I say, it, will this be a favorite film I enjoy? Even though, um, it it, it start it was making money in, in America here in America like a few from a few weeks ago. So even though, despite it already came out in twenty twenty a while back in twenty twenty, so I would consider this a twenty twenty movie. But. At the same time, since it, since it started making money here uh, from a few weeks ago in the U.S., what I consider this a, a, a favorite, uh, it, since it was released in the U.S., since it was released in the U.S., uh, like last month, yeah, it was last month, April 23rd when it came out last month and domestically, what I, I would consider, what I consider this, even though it being virtually being released in 2020, I would consider this being um, me liking this in 2021. I think I would think so. To me, I think I would put this as, my, as a favorite in 2021 since it was released this year in the in dom domestically in the U.S. Even despite being making already money overseas from in 2020 already, though. So technically, I would put this as a favorite. Uh, I would like this year. So I would because it's well as a Demon Slayer and Mugen Train. I like the animation, you know, what such a was nice when it's in without the wide shots of the train roaming through the night. And so like there are the fighting techniques with their like Tanjiro's or Rengoku's uh, sword techniques, like the moves they do is really well animated. As well as the other visual stuff as well. With their characters like uh, Nizuko, um, you know, going full demon out. Like I said, let me learn especially mainly about Tanjiro and Nizuko, like in their family, how their story was through the dream. How most of their family was killed, except for Nuzuko, who was turned into a demon. Um, but um, and the action for the anim for with a the animation for the act the action was was well done. And although, part of me was like, did this need to be under close to two hours? Part of me, I think I think that would be a, a, an issue. That um, I don't think this film did not need to be close to two hours. I didn't need that. Maybe trim some of the, the dream sequences down. Maybe it'll some of the, you know shave some of that off though, or or that have that fi fight at the end. But like I say, it was to me like even though I know anything about the characters, it's so like this one demon just comes out of out of nowhere or just uh, just to fight the f just just to, just for a fight, right? <laughs> Although it was a good fight, but it was like oh, if you take that out, then the film would be much shorter though, right? Because oh. The train is already done. Stuff on the train is done. Oh, we need to get another fight in. Let's have this one demon come out of nowhere to fight. So, yeah, but I don't think this film did a need to be two under two hour, close to two hours. But I like the char I like their characters for the most part. Uh, Zen Zenitsu, Zenitsu. I was like, eh. you know, he's like, you know, oh, even when, even when that shit was happening after he woke up, he's like, oh. or even before afterwards though. So. But Demon Slayer the Mugen Train, I I liked it. Um, but now since after this, I will have to watch uh fully of the first of the first season of Demon Slayer. So that way I'll get more understanding, uh, more in depth about the characters. Even though I know basically the main thing about Tanjiro and Nizuro about their family through through this though, but to learn more and you know, I'll learn more as the I have to watch the first season. So yeah, but Demon Slayer the Mugen Train, I enjoyed. So I tell you why I put this as a favorite at this year since it was officially released in 2021 and this year last month. Well, it'd be soon, be two months because we're almost close to June. So, but M April 23rd was when it came out officially in the U.S. So I would technically put this. I like this in case since it came out this year. So I'll put that on my, as a favorite list of this year. So, yeah. I so I but I like the movie. Listen, the voice, the Japanese voice work was good. The animation. Score was decent. Act the action I liked. Um, the, some of the visuals, like when with the the, the one demon like fuses itself, would they become part of the train? The visual effects I liked. But yeah, I I liked it. 
Demon Slayer, the Mugen, the Mugen Train, I liked. So, after, but even though after, after this, I'll have to get, um, I'll have to watch the, the first season now, so. But like I said, I do apologize if I don't know anything about the, the series beforehand, because I saw this first before the series. But anyway, that's my thoughts on the movie. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next uh, review for Anime Month. Later.